The deck we're going to be using in today's video is unconventional, but it does work. It is a quad spell golem deck with the Evo Wizard, Evo Zap, Lightning, Arrows, Void, Night Witch, Low Prince, and Golem with the Dagger, Duchess, Tower. I am up there. We're 2,896 in the world with this deck. And we're just going to hop right into some Ultimate Champion games. I'm going to be kind of explaining my thought process with this. But you basically just want to play very defensively and just play off of what your opponent does. So I'm not going to make the first move, although I could go Golem Night Witch first play. I don't think there's anything necessarily wrong with that, except you have to understand what the consequences of that are. You're going to get counter pushed very easily. Um, so you have to be careful. It's not always a bad thing and it can be really good and just win you the game in the first minute or so or just put you in a really good position to win the rest of the game but most of the time it's not going to end up that way and most of the time you're just going to want to play defensively and play off of what your opponent does until double elixir and that's in double elixir that's when you go in for the golem push that's when you go golem in the back now our opponent has poison and he just used it we're gonna go night witch into the same lane because we want to use our night witch when he doesn't have poison he's gonna have to cycle extremely quick back to his poison if he wants to use it now we could go golem right now so i'm going to um to basically to force him to use the poison up now and also place a building we'll void the building and he actually blocks it. We're going to get a zap on this LP. LP is going to die. He pops ability. I'm okay with that. We got plenty of bats. He's going to have to use another spell if he wants to not take some chip damage. Force out arrows. And now he's kind of out of cycle. And doesn't have what he wants. We also got some early damage, which is nice. But we got double elixir coming up. Hopefully he uses his poison again on that LP. We'll see. Oh, he yeah, he does. Okay, we go Night Witch now. Night Witch should avoid going into that. He's going to go Drill. I'm just going to go Wizard right here. And then we're going to go Golem up at the top here. He used Poison. He has Tesla. I'm going to go Void off to the side right there. To avoid the block that he's just trying to do. We're going to Evo Zap on this LP. We're also going to get some arrows down to take out the LP. Our Night Witch is taking out the Evo Knight. He has to use arrows. And our Golem is on the tower, just taking it out. And he uses the Evo Tesla. I'm going to use Lightning. Lightning takes it out. LP almost gets to the tower, but he kind of blocks it. And we've taken, like, no damage this game. Just cycling and, you know, playing off of what our opponent does and not, you know, doing too much. So we got to go Night Witch for that drill, but we just got to avoid an arrow, and I believe that should be enough to win the game. Let's go. Easy first dub. Let's get right into the next game against Raleigh. Good luck, Raleigh. We have Night Witch, Arrows, Wizard, Lightning in our first starting hand, and it's a drill deck again. Wizard does a pretty good job against the drill. Oh, but Magic Archer, that's going to get a couple of hits. That is unfortunate. So I'm going to go Golem right now. I know we just talked about not doing it first play, but if they use their win condition first and you don't really have anything else, like I don't want to leak Elixir. I don't think leaking Elixir is the best thing. We activate King Tower right there. Um, that was totally on purpose. <laughs> We're just going to void this cannon right now. Um, Golem's going to get a straight shot to the tower. He's got to use his drill to defend that. Um, and I don't I don't know if he has poison or not. We're going to pop LP ability. And LP is going to get a couple shots on the tower. All right, we're going to go Night Witch in the back right here. Casey does go drill and he doesn't and he doesn't go poison which makes me think that he doesn't have it because he has magic archer 
but maybe he does. Maybe he does. We're going to arrow on this firecracker. Wow, the tower's actually down. Nightwitch gets a hit. Bats are chipping away. Awesome. Okay, so he goes drill again. I'm just going to go wizard. And it's going to get, like, no damage. He has magic archer. Let's get ready for Lil Prince to block this. Because he's going to try and do it. Maybe not. Okay, he doesn't. We got a double elixir coming up. Perfect time to go golem in the back. Because we're just going to get... Wow, wizard actually gets two shots on the tower. What is he doing? We're going to zap right here. We're going to void actually here as well. Take care of that firecracker. He goes drill up there. Um... Interesting drill. <laughs> We're just going to lightning this cannon. Golem bats on the tower. Easily going to take it out. Let's just Evo zap this magic archer. It does not kill it anymore. So you are going to have to use arrows or just pray that your other troops do take it out. But this should be another easy W against drill. It's really nice that drill is not dominant anymore. It's so nice that evil bomber isn't just taking out half of my tower health every time it's it's placed down so so glad it's not the meta anymore ggs all right we got our next game against um not really sure but good luck to them and all right guys i'm gonna do it i'm gonna go golem first play just to show you that it can work um the pekka <laughs> okay it's not the end of the world when you see Pekka. Playing into Pekka is not always a bad thing. Going Night Witch behind your Golem is going to be necessary because you're going to need to do damage to the Pekka to take it out. Now he does go Baby Dragon. Let's go LP onto the Baby Dragon. We got Bats on it. He misses the Fireball um, to get the Night Witch. Doesn't really matter because Baby Dragon is going to take out our LP. We are going to get some shots from our wizard onto the P.E.K.K.A. And let's void. Let's zap. Void should get a shot on that. Ram Rider is my enemy. I do really terrible against Ram Rider decks. So this, this could be really bad. We could also play it really well. Because we have Lightning. We have Evo Zap. We have LP ability. And it doesn't look like he has Poison. Um, he very well could have it. He could have Void. We're just going to have to see. He just goes Knight at the bridge. Now, I want to see if I can get my Golem down. We do. Block our Night Witch. He's going to have to go P.E.K.K.A. And we'll get a, a better Wizard down. And that, that Wizard is actually going to hit the P.E.K.K.A. and the Baby Dragon. And the P.E.K.K.A. is actually down a lot of health right now. So, it's, you know... Ideal time to go our wizard. And as you can see, just cleans up. We actually do get some nice chip damage done. I'm going to go LP right now. And we're not going to do ability. We have to just zap. He goes Evo Zap and Void. We're going to arrow so it doesn't get that much. But he just spent a ton to do that. We're just going to Void on the Knight. Takes it out pretty easily. We're going to cycle our wizard. He just goes Ram Rider again. We got our Evo Zap this time. He's going to go Fireball. Okay, he has Fireball. Okay, Baby Dragon. All that, it does get some nice damage for him. Let's go Night Witch. At least he doesn't have Poison. We're going to go Golem at the bridge here. And we're going to Lightning the P.E.K.K.A. and the L.P. Very nice. Alright. Let's get LP right now. P.E.K.K.A. dies. He's going to avoid that. I'm going to go wizard off to the side right here. This is a neck and neck race right now. We got to go Night Witch. If we get our golem down, I think we'll be fine. So I'm going to do it right now. He's going to go P.E.K.K.A. He knows what we're trying to do here. We got to zap the tower. Stop this LP from continuously spraying. 
Oh wow, he just zaps it all. I gotta go wizard. He just does that. We gotta go night witch here. I think we could spell cycle and win. I think we can. He just used Ram Rider. Maybe we just go Golem at the bridge? Yep, Golem at the bridge. He just wasted a fireball. Let's get LP down. He doesn't have any way to really make sure my Golem doesn't get to the tower. It actually explodes on the tower. That's GG's. We lightning. Let's go. Let's go. See, going Golem first play isn't always the worst thing, especially if it's a P.E.K.K.A. deck. Because you want to play into the P.E.K.K.A. You don't want to go opposite lane because you're not going to be able to defend it just by, you know, going Golem opposite lane. You need to use your Golem for the P.E.K.K.A. Let's go. Three dubs in a row. Let's see where we're at right now. 1,781 with quad spell Golem. Let's go. <laughs> it's basically five spells because Wizard, you know, is basically a spell. It's just a, a spell troop. Good luck to our opponent here we have zap lightning void all in hand with little prince i'm just gonna zap the tower to cycle they go barbs so this could be multiple things it could be golem healer it could be lava hound my guess is lava hound now with our opponent going barbs first oh it's <laughs> it's elixir golem it's not golem um i i knew it was some type of golem but, you know, I wasn't really expecting an Elixir Golem. Okay, I'm going to go Golem at the bridge right here. He's going to Monk Ability. And Wizard is just shredded. Oh, he has Healer as well. Okay, we need Elixir very badly. Let's zap this. Let's get our Evo Wizard back. I don't think he has Monk Ability back yet. Maybe he does. I don't know how fast Monk ability comes. Oh, he does. Okay, but our wizard is not going to die to it. He has Rage too. Rage, Healer, Elixir, Golem. Okay, he has Princess Tower, which is going to be very beneficial for us right here. We push back the E-Dragon. Let's go. All right, we're going to have to pop ability here. Perfect ability. Let's go Golem. And he does like E Dragon's one of his best defenses for that type of push. He does have E Barbs, but um, we kind of have to go Golem. We have to. All right, let's keep it going, guys. Let's see if we can get another LP ability. I don't think we will be able to. Let's spam it. Actually, let's not. I think we could have gotten it down, but. Very risky. Alright, I'm just going to go Void to Cycle. We're not going to get a situation where we're going to be able to Void and get away with it easily. So, alright, I'm going to actually Lightning now. Let's just go Evo Zap as well. Okay, that doesn't knock back onto the tower, which is very good. We got an LP ability. We take out the Monk. LP, take out the Healer, please. We got to arrow all this. We're actually going to lose this tower. Can't believe it. Maybe we won't. Let's avoid. Let's zap. He rages. No, the wizard. It's bouncing back onto the tower. Okay. We got a mighty push here. We're going to have to arrow. Wizard. Actually coming in clutch here. We lightning. Wow, no way. No way we took out the tower just in time. Let's go. No way. No way we just took that out. What a close game. I think those arrows were just seconds away. Because it does three cycles of damage. And I think it was on its last cycle of damage. Wow, <laughs> what a game. And we pushed up to 1,521. Let's go. All right, let's keep this win streak alive. We're just going to end this video on my first loss. I think that's going to be a good way to represent this and show you guys that, you know, you're going to lose some games and not every game is going to be perfect. And Barry could have um, well ended on that game, but uh, 
We just came up clutch there. We got a very, very nice golem push. Okay, rage first play. This is going to be giant mini P.E.K.K.A. It also could be Sparky with Fisherman. So, not the ideal deck for us, but he does use it early. Okay. Um, I'm going to have to go Night Witch here. Wow, he is actually just wrecking my tower right now. That's actually insane that he's able to just spam all of that and make it so I can't do anything. That's actually crazy. Because I was planning on just going Golem. Because he used Fisherman, but it's all part of the plan, I guess. That rage killed us. And he has Wizard too. Maybe it's not Sparky. Wow. This guy is just, uh, he's playing so aggressive. We're going to go Night Witch in the back here. We have Evo Zap. We have Lightning. I'm going to go Golem. So I think we're going to Evo Zap an arrow onto his Fisherman and just, and, and pray. All right, let's get LP down as well. Maybe he doesn't use Fisherman. Not sure why he would not. I think it's beneficial for him to do that. To my Golem, at least. Let's pop LP ability. Get that Knight and this Night Witch. Let's Evo Zap. Let's get our Night Witch. I'm going to have to arrow onto that Fisherman. And actually doesn't even take it out. Giant has way too much health, man. Please, Supercell, nerf Giant, please. Please nerf it ASAP. Be much appreciated if they did that. No, they're not going to, but they really do need to. Because this is not fun. And the fact they put rage in this is just rage inducing. <laughs> he 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 ha. Um, well, I think that we're not going to win this, guys. But we tried. Let's zap this. See if we could take it out. Probably not going to. We got a void here. We got a LP ability. We got an arrow. I don't remember him getting a wizard down. Yeah, there, there's not there's not much you can really do about this. Um, I don't want to end the video there. We'll play one more. We'll play one more. And we'll see what happens. Now, usually what happens with the algorithm is you're going to win. You're going to go on a win streak, how, however many wins that is. And then you're going to lose like two or three in a row that's when you need to take a break now a break could be 15 minutes it could be an hour or two but i highly recommend that you guys stop playing a game after like two losses in a row and just going and doing something else um do some yoga for 10 minutes what i'm gonna do is edit this video post it for you guys um so just try and do something I'm just going to cycle arrows. He has log. Interesting. Because he goes knight and wizard. And I'm thinking this is giant. Um, Ice spirit log knight with wizard. Maybe this is expo. Huh. I'm just going to cycle my zap. Let's get our void on that evil wizard. It's hog rider. Oh. Um, I'm going to arrow on the Hog Rider. Because it's going to get so much damage if I don't do anything to it. Okay. Hog... Okay. I'm just a little shocked at what I'm playing against right now. Um, Should be a pretty easy dub for us. 
doesn't have evil wizard and cycle. He's probably just going to cycle all the way back to another hog rider right now. Nope, he just cycles to a wizard. I'm going to go golem. We're going to use our void on the wizard. Now he's probably going to try and block it or something. Actually, we'll just use it on the void. And he blocks it as well. Okay. Let's actually evo zap right now. So they target the golemite. And maybe we can get that wizard. We do. Let's go. Bats are actually going to get some chip damage, which is going to be really nice. Okay. Let's get Night Witch so it doesn't get any hits. It shouldn't. Preventing it from getting any hits is the best thing that you can do. He's probably going to block this, but we got to get rid of that shield. Okay, he just goes Earthquake, and we take out the Evo Wizard. I am fine with that. Let's just go Golem and have the wizard behind it. He's still got his shield. Should take out that Ice Spirit. Let's go. Let's just zap that wizard. We take out the wizard. I'm going to go another wizard. Wizard does so much DPS. We're going to go Night Witch. He doesn't have poison. He has Earthquake. So he just goes another Tesla. So let's go LP. He's going to cycle back to it extremely quick. That's going to be really annoying about this deck here. But he slowed down our Night Witch enough to give us time to put the Night Witch sort of behind it. Not really. We're going to zap right here. We're going to get Void on this Evo Wizard. Actually is going to take it out, which is going to be really nice. Let's just get our Evo Wizard down in case he decides to go Hog Rider very soon. Once Triple Elixir hits, that's when we're actually going to be able to get some stuff done. I'm actually going to have to Evo Zap here. We're going to have to arrow. We're going to have to void. As, oh, wow. It didn't even take out the wizard. I was under the impression it would take out the wizard, but it didn't. Um, bats might take out the wizard. Okay. If we can just keep defending until triple, we should be fine here. I'm just going to zap this. We're probably going to have to go lightning here. Let's go night witch. Yep, we're going to have to lightning this. Alright, we got an arrow. Got to go wizard. Got to zap that. Let's go night witch. Probably going to have to void. Nope. Alright, we only have 40 seconds left. We need to go golem no matter what here. We got to just lightning this Tesla and this... Um, wizard and hopefully we just get to the tower wow he actually uses evo wizard in time we got a void we got an evo zap we got an arrow we got to get rid of it we got to do damage on the tower we got 20 seconds left we got a lightning this we got to void the tower we got to get a night witch we got to zap the hog rider we got an arrow Nope, we're not going to get it. What a close game. See, you guys, we lost two in a row. So now we're going to stop. Take a break. We did make progress from where we started. So we're going to take a look. Even though it's not that much progress. Well, we're 2068. That's still like 600 spots higher than what we started off this video with. So got to be happy with that. We're going to take a break. We're going to edit the video. Now, if it were you guys, go um, go work out, go do yoga, go watch some TikTok, go do something. Go watch my TikTok videos. Go watch my YouTube videos. And that's what I typically do. I'll watch other people play Golem or I'll watch other people just play Clash Royale in general so I know how to counter them. And yeah, that's what I highly recommend you guys do. And try out this quad spell golem deck for you. Let me know how it goes. Evil Wizard is pretty broken. Now, if you don't want to play quad spell, replace the lightning with Phoenix. You could also replace Void with Phoenix and keep lightning. Lightning's still good. Or you could get rid of both of them and use whatever. But I think Evo Zap and Arrows are still pretty good um, with golem. So let me know uh, if you guys enjoyed this video. Leave some likes comment down below. Appreciate you guys. Hope you guys have a good day.